Yes. Hey guys, Coop and Duck, we're back. Back for a new season, new beginnings, kind of. We're saying um, episode 87. I'm going 87. I'm sticking my neck out. Okay. Come on, memory man. We're going lost track. Well, look. Chris is famed for his memory. I'm, ju- I'm just had a baby, so we, we haven't been podcasting for a couple of weeks. Also, we've been preoccupied doing our Daniel Farker app. Um, if anyone's biddy bat bat. Shake your head. Sorry, there's some young buck next to us who, yeah. who's a bit too cool for school. Yeah. He's 16 and he's crippled by the idea of coolness. Um, <laughs> you'll get over that. Yeah, don't worry. Right. Uh, anyway. And then beyond over it, anyway. If, you, if you're new to the podcast, because the Daniel Farker app has brought you here, um, thanks, uh, thanks for tuning in. Can't tune in on YouTube. Anyway, what's going to happen tonight? Alex Neal's over there. Well, we've got... Looks that- a bit tubbier. Yeah, he does. Hopefully, we're going to give him some shit, and hope. Well, we will give him some shit, yeah. definitely. Yeah, but you but can't really give him any shit for a five 0 down. No, exactly. End of. But look, if we that we need a result today. We've had one point out of three league games. Uh, it's going badly, but it's early doors. Yeah. We're scoring goals. We're just making terrible well, the, mistakes. Well, you that know. is the thing. I mean, I think I think a lot of our mistakes, really, certainly in the West Brom game, you can put down to individual errors. There's one thing that is really bothering me, and I'm pretty sure it's um, that Farker is playing zonal defending from corners because yeah, we're pieces. conceding a lot of goals from crosses and corners yeah. and that really bothers me also there's a lack of hunger from players to get their heads on it so that, that is something that's easily fixed the, the, the thing is that I've noticed about the start of this season is that we seem to have an entirely new set of problems last year we weren't looking creative we weren't looking like we were going to score and the games were incredibly dull as this season it's certainly you know we've looked dangerous going forward you know Onel Hernandez is looking very direct um, Jordan Rose is getting in the areas where he's going to score goals yeah, which yeah. you can argue Oliveira didn't as he kept on coming deeper and deeper to get the ball so we are looking more dangerous but we're, we're just leaky ass and we're so just a leaky new set ass of the and new signings look great uh, well some of them look good some, some of them look great but compared to the signings we made last season I think oh, it's on the whole they're a lot better yeah. Marshall looks looks good um, McLean looks good Onel Hernandez albeit he came uh, I think in the January window he's yeah. looked great yeah. um, Jordan Rhodes uh, took the worst penalty I've ever seen in my life but he is looking he is looking good and he's scoring Pookie Pookie I, I think he looks really handy yeah so who knows? And we always like a name that sounds good in Norfolk. Exactly. Pookie. But you don't even need to do yeah. a Norfolk oh, accent. Come on now, you Pookie. Yeah. Oh, uh, pink. Yeah. Pink. Can't even hear the E. Just pink. 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 Um, what's going to be the score full time? Well, uh, we need. I think we need a win today. We've got Leeds at the weekend who are flying high, and yeah. then I, I hate to say it, but we've got Ipswich away the following Sunday. So we need to right the ship. Because we don't want to be going away on low confidence. I think if we, you know... Or playing, or playing Leeds with low confidence. Look, look, pre- yeah, absolutely. But, I mean, Preston are beatable. We should be beating Preston at home until that. That is so awful. My God, what are we doing? We're doing our best to let goal in. Uh, yeah, so... Alex Neal's really going to want this. Yeah. He's so close to us at the moment. He's so close. Get a little shot of him if you yeah. can. And that looks really far away because the GoPro... Uh, I, I don't begrudge the guy. You know, he, he gave us a belting. Season. He did. It wasn't. He he, he, it wasn't his fault. We didn't sack him earlier. Do you know no, what I mean? But it Obviously. was his fault that he kept on playing Cameron Jerome over in Bacani. And also, when we went down, have you noticed he would never play Pritchard, and he would he wouldn't oh, play yeah. Madison. Yeah, yeah. And look, they're, they're both gone now for big money. Yeah. So yeah, I agree. He I doesn't agree. put. Enough, that is the one thing you have to say about Farquhar. He's got no problems about putting young talent. In, in the fray, no, in the thick of it. Definitely not. Anyway, all, the, all for now. See, See you at half time. Yeah. Well, we're back. Half time, nil all. Um, in what was, on the whole, a fairly dreary first half. Really dreary. Two low standard shit championship football clubs going at each other. It looked like we could play and play and not score a goal in either direction. Uh, maybe I'm being pessimistic. Uh, I mean, I was saying, I was saying before the game how how you know we've got a new set of problems and we looked dangerous in the last few games. We certainly didn't really look dangerous no. in the first half of this game. The, the only outlet has been Onel Hernandez. Every time we've played the ball to him on the left wing, Best we've looked dangerous, and he's the only one who's really created anything. To be fair, we probably should have gone 
one nil up at the, at the end of the first yeah, half. He, he, he cut it back to Liner. I was saying to the boy Sam next to me that Liner is such a poor finisher, and he showed that against Sheffield United. Um, he, and when, when he should have scored, people said he was offside, but the linesman didn't flag. Yeah, and he yeah. Have scored. You know, uh, Ona Hernandez cut it back, and Liner leans back and disguise him. Now, if there was uh, one of his own players calling for the ball on the far post, he would have picked him out fine. Yeah. So there's no reason why he can't just play no. that in the far corner. No, it's funny how you get those players yeah. who uh, have an incredible touch with a pass but can't finish the toffee. He, he can't appears finish. to be he one of those players. I, and, and I, I get a feeling if he scored a goal, it would, it would happen for him. I mean, not that he's in the team to score no, goals. No, no, no. And to be fair, you know, there were a couple of players in front. It wasn't like an absolute stone, stone cold Sitter, no, but he has to work. He should hit the target. Yeah, hit the target, yeah I agree. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Um, we're, we're being very poor. Um, it's possession football. Look, yeah, it, we're it playing in front counts. of them. Yeah, it only counts. Look, they're happy for us to have the ball because we're not doing anything with it. You know, if, if unless you're playing possession football in dangerous areas, it doesn't mean anything. No. And we've actually looked a bit shaky at the back, given you know made a few mistakes, giving it away, and press them knock on the door a couple. Of and times. yeah, there's always and it's, there's always that potential for us to have a wobble and you know give something away at the back so um, anyway second half just kicked off so uh, as you can see let's have a look as you see Preston have bought two minibus loads yeah. oh, sorry you're, you're technically off. not well like anyone's going to want to watch this footage yeah exactly um, including us huh no yeah exactly but um, oh, the moon's out looks very beautiful um, it does actually look at that yeah we've, we've been really re we're really poor first half and um didn't create anything. Another worrying thing, there's, there's been a lot of speculation that uh, Tim Fosa might be going to Hanover. Yeah. Because our, our, the, the British transfer window's closed. Yeah. Uh, but it hasn't it hasn't, cro it hasn't closed in Europe, and so he, he could go. Yeah, and that would cause Norwich a real hangover. Oh. Well, I'd be gutted to lose him because he's don't run away, don't arguably run away. our best defender. Um, and I'll also be gutted to use him because he's mentioned in the rap, and therefore that section of the rap yeah. would be immediately yeah. obsolete. Yeah. Um, It'd have to be a next episode. Oh, I can't be asked to do that. So he's coming off the pitch at half time looking pissed off, quite frankly. And uh, I say, Tim, Tim, he looks over and say, Tim, you're staying. And he just shakes his head and, and carries on walking. Yeah. I mean, slightly won't. I think he wants to stay, not probably from a professional point of view, more from, from the fact that he's fallen in love with Norfolk. Yeah. And that he's settled here. Well, that's a romantic take on it. But I mean, I yeah. think no matter he's which. He's still a professional footballer. Yeah. Though. And no matter, no matter which team you support, I think it's safe to say that he is in the process of committing career suicide here in Norwich. Good on him for doing it, but. Like, yeah. You have to think he could be playing at a better club. You could think he would play top flight football somewhere in Europe. If he wanted yeah. to. No, no, for sure. I mean, he, so I you could argue... I, mean, I bet, well, his, agents, I bet yeah. his agents on the phone too. Yeah, and it's also drastically affected his international career. He wasn't in the, the, the Swiss side for the World Cup. Yeah. You could argue if he had been playing at a higher level domestically, he would have been. I imagine his agent's like the Gestapo guy from a low, a low, you know? That, remember that guy? <laughs> <laughs> Heinrich. Don't know, don't know Heinrich. Heinrich, yeah, don't yeah, know, don't he was know awesome. Why. I always yeah. fancied his assistant when I was around seven. Did you? You fancied Heinrich. <laughs> yeah, him too. Um, yeah. And she always was bang into him, it was weird. Yeah. It's not, uh, it's not an Hello Hello podcast. Great show. It was, it was yeah, funny. Um, but yeah, we need to... I don't know what we need to do. Yeah. We, Give we, us something to talk we about. Need to, no, low, we low. need to get behind them. Yeah, every, like you say, everything's in front of them. And I was saying, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. If, Other than if, Hernandez. If yeah, you're absolutely. standing with the ball and the defender's in front of you, if you don't commit that defender, he has, he has no reason, especially at nil-nil, he has no reason away. He has no reason to anything. So therefore... You could, if Daniel Farker says, oh yeah, you know, this, we had X amount of possession, it doesn't matter because they were happy for us to have the ball because we weren't uh, playing it in uncomfortable areas for them. No, so. and you know, regardless of what, you know, how we're setting up, there's got to be movement off the ball. People have to be making runs. Yeah. And, not, you know, there have been points where everyone's standing still and, you you know, and that is we're not going to get And that is why our only outlet... It's been um, Ronald Hernandez using his pace, using his blinding and pace to beat yeah, someone. Looking at the game now, out of the two teams, uh, uh, Preston have come out of the traps far, far livelier than, yeah. than us. We'll catch you at the end of the game. Bleak times, bleak yeah. times. I mean, if we play like this against Leeds, they'll tear oh, us a new we'll, one. We'll get tear murdered. us a new one. Yeah. Anyway, All see right, you in full time. Game has ended, and we won it. We won it two 0 Two 0 
it went from shit to gold in the space of it went, about it went from two shit minutes. To shitter to a lot shitter to oh my god we're going to concede yeah. to absolute goal. Well, we almost did. I mean, uh, Tetty, on the edge of their box, gave away a sloppy square pass. They, their guy ran the length of the pitch. He should have fouled him. He should have fouled him. Someone should have made a challenge. No one kept with the guy. He had a shot on goal, hit the underside of the crossbar. Yeah, somehow didn't go in. Somehow didn't go in. But I think that, in it, bizarrely, that kind of woke us up. Well, actually, bringing on... I, I mean, I'm assuming you pronounce his name Buendia? Yeah. Is it, Buendia, yeah, Buendia. Emmy Buendia? I don't know where, the, where you put the emphasis. Which looked like on the bender, that uh, no, But he came oh, on yeah. and he was dynamite. Oh, absolutely dynamite. The other thing I would say is that we were on Radio Norfolk um, before the game and uh, Rob Butler was talking about how quiet Carroll has been of late. And, and we've been saying, and we, we, we were quite critical, well, I was quite critical on a Radio Norfolk of the fans saying that I'm sick of hearing that this is a library chant from the away fans Yeah, and that it's not been great I have to say it, it was an awful second half up until the 75th minute mark when Deer had that chance and the fans it, they just blew up and yeah. it, you know they, the, I, got, I've, I haven't heard Carra Road that loud I guess since Farker has been here and considering the circumstances in which there was that eruption, considering we were nil-nil and we'd been exposed to 75 minutes of pretty dire, boring um, football. Uh, yeah. I'd say a good hour. Yeah, I mean, yeah, and it's funny, the fans... Uh, they were great. Uh, after the chance, the fans, just before we scored, the fans really turned on them, but in a kind of come-on-lads way. Yeah. And they responded. Yeah, no, they, um, they did. It was, I thought, it you was know, brilliant. Brendy was fantastic. I mean, assuming that he's going to play, if you've got Hernandez on one <laughs> he's, side, he's him first, on the other. The first little run he made. Yeah, with that little Meg. Was, oh, amazing. Was, was so... Yes, yeah, so South American. And that's what, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. That, you just hear the sandwich drums. But that's what we needed, yeah. you know what I and mean? And then, I, you know, you're always worried. They say you're most vulnerable uh, to concede the med- immediately after you score. And we really needed that second goal. And we looked like getting it. We are hitting shots from range. Like they are all on target, but they were charging them down. And then Tetty scores an absolute perler yeah. to, to make it... Yeah. 2-0 I mean yeah. that was a belter straight back yeah oh my god unbelievable beautiful technique from Tetti t- yeah. t- so brilliant and, took his shirt off and, took and, yeah, and I didn't realise that Alex Tetti went to the same gym and had the same personal trainers as me and yeah, I, I realised yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah, after yeah. seeing him take his top off Yeah. Uh, we, we've got to talk about Pookie Pookie we say in the song Pookie looked like he might score a food though and he does actually his goal was a carbon copy of the goal he scored midweek in the League Cup against Stevenage yeah tight angle very nice clinical finish dude I'm, I'm so pumped off that I mean from going from yeah. feeling you know it was such predictable dull football I was feeling super depressed but I, I was so encouraged by the fans apparently the along came Norwich along come Norwich I don't know what they're called sorry guys for that. Yeah. Um, but uh, you know they're, they're, there's been some campaign to get Carrow Road a little louder and yeah. to, be, to be fair to the Barkley that they were singing um, a multitude of different shards for the entirety of the game yeah, yeah, but yeah. what was really encouraging is at one point before we scored you know, I, I, look, everyone. You know, regardless of what you think about the brand of football, everyone likes Daniel Farker as a person, yeah. as a personality. Everyone wants him to succeed, of course, yeah. Because he's a dude, isn't he? Yeah, he's, he, he's great. And I, 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 you know, there's nothing wrong with with the brand of football he's trying to play. It's just a tall order, you know. It is a tall order, um, but you, and you need players who are comfortable receiving the ball in tight areas I'd rather that than McCarthy or Pulis watching that game in game now you know lofting out the middle of the park no one wants to see that type of football and and I think you know I was watching an interview about um, the Arsenal manager and uh, 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 Gary Neville was saying that as a manager you need to stick to your guns and stick to your philosophy and the players have to adapt to what you're trying to do because if you back down you're sending out mixed messages. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, you know, absolutely. And, you, and, and you, people and you lose confidence. Dress, yeah, lose yeah, confidence. Absolutely, lose absolutely. So he he stuck to his guns with this possession style of football. It just needs to be more dynamic and more more threatening. And you know, look, and also I, I couldn't agree more. Two 0 a clean sheet. Yeah, you that, take that's that all really day important. at the beginning of the game. Confidence for the back four and the keeper as well. Yeah. But Leeds is going to be a different type of test. Absolutely. But thank God, at least we're going into. Having said it that, Leeds are going to come here and try and win the match. As Preston, yeah, yeah, weren't weren't Long really, yeah, 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 yeah no, they, were tr- they were trying to keep it tight and then maybe nick one. I, I so, got, I got to say before we go, we're filming this on Cow Road at the end of the game here. The fans walking home, 
every so often a fan walks past and clocks the camera and it's like you know when you get tribes people in yeah. it? Yeah, like an, yeah, like an anthropological yeah. documentary with uh, yeah. see the, David Attenborough narrating yeah. it and they look at it like it's sort of like they witchcraft. They see that massive um, mic with yeah. the big... They yeah. look scared and suspicious. I've had a few of those looks with people walking past. Anyway, got to love Cara Road. Yeah, but uh, chuffed a bit. Uh, I mean, uh, chuffed with the performance, well, the last 15 minutes, chuffed, chuffed with uh, the substitution. Again, Farker brought him on earlier. Last year, he was bringing on sub- substitutes too late to impact on the game. I like that he brought it on, brought him on 65 minutes, or, you know, a little earlier. Gave yeah. him a good 25 minutes, half an hour. Totally. And I like that like the fans really got behind the team in spite of what they'd and when, witnessed. Yeah, and when they needed it as well. You know, it is a difficult one. I do think, to an extent, I mean, you know, car roads are particularly quiet ground, I would say, on balance. But you are going to react to what's in front of you. And when you're... Playing, playing dross football against the dross team in the champ, mm. it's going to get quiet, and that's yeah. the difficulty, I think. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, I think, I think, but I agree. I think, I agree. I think we need to be a little Our spirits more are going to be a, a far greater going into this Leeds game on the weekend. And Leeds are going to bring fans. Leeds are going to bring fans. They're going to, they're going to hey, want to go for it. Hey, Leeds. Yeah. Really, hope we don't God, lose I mean, imagine being a Leeds fan. They were, they were a huge club. Oh yeah, and they're going, flying you know. high this year. So their fine. manager is such an enigma. You've, you've got if you don't, are not aware of the Leeds manager, see some of his post-match interviews. They are they are insane. Can't Come speak on. a word of English. Won't look into the camera. Um, so we can't really give him any abuse. He won't know what the hell's going on. No. I, well, we'll do our homework. We'll good, try our good, best. Little, little comment on um, Alex Neal. I didn't really feel any animosity. No, I did. I thought I, made, we I had some one jib, little dig in because one of his players missed a sitter first half. And I said oh, I was like back in the day with Cam Drone. Eh? Mm. It's common, yeah. The bar. yeah. But yeah, fair play to Alex now. I hope he does well because, regardless of how it ended, we have to thank him for one of the greatest seasons oh, we ever experienced. Totally, the, the, totally. the championship campaign when yeah. we went up through the playoffs. Oh, from Christmas onwards was just a yeah, roller coaster. It was, it, was, it was amazing. So yeah. thanks, Alex, for that. Anyway, look, we better, we better check out. Yeah. You're going to edit this this time? Yes. Brilliant. So, yeah, so it'll be I'll really send you January. The audio, yeah. So, uh, probably cut this bit out. So, anyway, we'll see you at Leeds. Yeah. All so the best, guys. 88. Cheers. Listen to the rap.